today is World Habitat Day. And this is a day where all over the world, people are both stepping out, as all of you are, to build, and also, as we say, to build louder, to raise their voices, to make poverty, housing, and homelessness socially, politically, and religiously unacceptable in this nation and across the world. Carolyn Hampton and I have Habitat for Humanity here and I would like to say that I am so happy about the work that they're doing here and I just like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Rudy Meinert. This is my home in Staten Island, New York. Uh, it was damaged by uh, Hurricane Sandy last year. This week, Habitat for Humanity has stepped in. The way that they're helping out makes you feel, you know, loved by mankind. My name is Jean Cravens, and I have been a Habitat volunteer for 23 years. Over the years, we have followed President Carter from his presidency, and we all continue to be very, very proud of being able to say he is such a Habitat supporter, and we've been proud to know that we are working alongside him, not only in the Carter Project. The impression I have for the last 30 years is that when we begin to go to a project in a slum area, and we work side by side with a destitute family that have never had a decent house in which to live. By the end of the week, I realize those people are just as intelligent as I am, and just as hardworking as I am, and just as full of ideals and hopes and dreams as I am. Their family values are just as good as mine. That's one of the primary things I've gotten out of Habitat, that all people on Earth are equal and a basic human right is to have a place to live. That's why I love Habitat, thank you.